All right, so here comes a Formula E car. Listen for it. It's so strange. This is the second time this week that I've been graced with a lovely race suit, and that's because we are at Formula E for the last race of this season. And as I'm sure you've guessed, I'm in this because this weekend I'm driving a Formula E car. I'm still taking it on board, but I'm down here this evening for my seat fitting. Now, if you, you want to join me here, take a look at this cockpit. This is where I'll be uh, tomorrow afternoon. Pretty tight and compact, and of course your ass is like this far from the uh, floor. But I've just been going through with the guys from Formula E some stats on this car. Um, despite most of the weight is actually here, so this is where the battery pack is. Obviously, in a conventional Formula car, you've got engine here, but this is packed full of batteries. But despite that, this car still weighs only around 900 kilograms, and this into context it's still around 300 brake horsepower which apparently is 170 kilowatts now this is all new to me obviously this I feel like some kind of pioneering kid in a sweet shop trying all the latest stuff because right now I'm getting into the second gen of Formula E God knows where this formula is gonna be in the next few years uh, but it just feels a massive honor and a privilege for someone to stick me in a set of overalls, which are brand new and shiny, by the way. Uh, yeah, and stick me in one of these things for the first time ever. I mean, just look at it. It is basically a baby Formula One car. So to put this in, in, into context, someone's putting me in a Formula car, which is unbelievable. Um, yeah, I feel like dancing around like a small child. This is me. This is going to be me for the next few hours on uh, Saturday. I mean, check this out. A minute ago, I was I was just sort of sat here waiting to do this tape uh, because that really loud compressor was on, which I'm sure you can all hear now. But this is to give you an idea of how light this car is. Move it with my ass. It's it's so lightweight. So 300 horsepower doesn't sound much, um, but when you put it into the context of this, the power to weight is high. So full carbon shell, everything on this thing is carbon fiber, juicy weave here, um, and of course what I'm really interested in is this instant torque. This is the Friday evening, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning will be my first time in this car, and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. See you in a moment. Good morning from Battersea, it is race day and my first drive day. Thankfully, it's dry. First time in a Formula E car. The last thing we want is for me to go on track, spin it and bin it. Not a good time, but amazingly, it's basically been raining in England for two weeks. Um, and today is a beautiful summer's day in London. You couldn't have written it, absolutely perfect. Yeah, I've just um, donned the race overalls, had the debrief, checked out the car, and I've also just wandered the pits to get a feel of the vibe during a Formula E race. Very odd. It's very cool, but it's very strange because everything's really quiet. There's no loud engine noises. There's no need to wear ear defenders, anything like that. But it's very interesting. You can see that these cars are so fast. They are, I mean, even though they are electric, they do not hang around, man. Even exiting these pits, instant torque. They just, boof, fly off. So we're now doing a small grid walk, which is uh, quite, interesting because in F1 this type of thing is completely locked down um, I've just witnessed as well the drivers do a car change rather than doing a conventional pit stop the drivers actually swap cars really really cool anyway I'm gonna walk back up the pits now it's time for me to get in the car shortly so I'm gonna go and have one more um, chat with the uh, team about what all of the buttons do on the steering wheel and then I'm gonna go for my laps. See you in a moment. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> The maddest thing about this experience is probably that I've grown up watching Formula One. This scenario right here happening, pit crew pushing you out, 
Uh, don't get me wrong, I know this isn't exactly F1, but it's Formula something. So for me, this is Formula awesome. <laughs> it's so crazy. The strangest thing is that this noise that you may be able t to hear, this is classed as the engine on. It's just like a sort of mild whir, really. Mad. This is mental. <laughs> All good? Thanks. So I guess one sign of that is these cars are actually quite friendly to drive. I didn't get in this thing thinking, oh God, it goes well. And by God, the front end turn it is pretty special. And you've got no, no option but to left or right around here. Because it's, there's no room for your feet to move anywhere other than where they are. This thing is pretty much moulded to you. Fantastic experience. time in one of these things to really appreciate just oh yeah that it's the it's the power out of the corners which is amazing you just need more time in this thing just to learn the circuit I mean considering we're in a park right now that is bloody brilliant to lock it up. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> done it again. Never mind, I have to go down into neutral and this is not my corner. <laughs> it approaches you faster than you think because uh, it just appears out of nowhere really, but clearly that's not my corner. <laughs> exactly what he's talking about now. <laughs> At least we didn't put it in the barrier, that's the main thing. Someone was telling me a story earlier that Boris Johnson, our London mayor, went out in, in one of these cars and he didn't want to get out of it. I know exactly how he feels. From my point of view, it's because I need to know what the hell I'm doing and have a much better time in it. Wow. Great experience. Great, great experience. Alright, good. Now I just need to remember where the, where the pits are. Let's try.
track lens into one. You wouldn't Im imagine that they'd be able to make something like this out of a park. So there you go, my very short but incredibly sweet first drive in a Formula E car. Overshot <laughs> at that corner twice. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I mean, amazing. Amazing, amazing experience. The car's quite approachable. At, at higher speeds, it's fairly, yeah, fairly hardcore, but uh, I'll tell you what, to try and jump into an F1 car and do that, totally different ball game. But yeah, wow, that was really, 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 really cool. Really cool. Super exciting stuff, and I'm just glad I pretty much kept it out of the barrier, so. Uh, so all fantastic except for that corner, twice, which just is not my corner. <laughs> yeah, no, just an unreal experience. It's, um, you definitely want more laps to get into it and to get to learn that circuit. I'm actually amazed at how uh, involving and complex they've made a park, really. So, for my tech, you just need more time to learn that circuit. I missed the apex and went into the barrier almost on the uh, second time. So, yeah, thankfully, this shiny nose is still uh, shiny. But, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's definitely an example that you can't just jump in these things and floor it. There is definitely, you know, a large element of uh, respect in these things. But every other corner was great. <laughs> Fantastic experience. And... Uh, in terms of a look at the future of where motorsports going, formula sports are going, it's very easy to look at these sports from a spectator point of view and think it's a bit boring because it, it doesn't sound great. And I fully appreciate that. When you're in the driver's seat, completely different ball game. This thing is a phenomenal piece of kit. I wasn't sure what to expect. The torque is instant, out of corners. It's just, oh, it sticks right back in the seat and the whole thing goes. Rides incredibly flat. Obviously, you know, body roll isn't really a thing with these. Even compared to very fast road cars, this thing is, this thing dials it up. It's brilliant. Fantastic experience. I think uh, Tim, Mr. Shmi, is out on his lap now and we're gonna go and uh, watch him on, uh, on TV. So, check it out. <laughs> How was that? Good? That was insane. Yeah, unbelievable, okay. huh? <laughs> Next level. How do you even put this into words? The I don't know. Of... I, don't, I don't know. What I'm hoping is that on camera, we're gonna, it, we've done an okay job of conveying how ridiculous yeah, I mean, it was. I, I was trying to talk to the, uh, to the cameras in the car. Yeah? And, but it was, it was more a, a narration of the race circuit, I think, in the end, because I didn't really know what to say about the whole experience. When I, when I went out, I, went, I left the pits thinking, all right, let's start, start talking about this. As soon as I was on the track, I shut up. Yeah. It was like this really? instant reaction. I was like, focus. <laughs> And then as soon as I started talking, it's, it's when I went wrong and overshot that first oh, no. corner. Well, you see, God. I did have the advantage of having watched that on the camera, so I was like, yeah. I, was, whoop, I was waiting for that corner to arrive, <laughs> fully like. It's um, <laughs> it's it's a really hard circuit to learn because oh, all the walls it, look the same. All the walls are just sponsors, and yeah. you can't see through a corner to like plan nope. for the next corner. Nope. No, so no, you no. come out of a corner blind, and unless <laughs> you know it, like mapped in your head, you're like, what's next? Unbelievable. Would you do it again? Definitely. Hell yeah! I'd definitely do it again. It was a fantastic driving experience. And I'm really impressed with the, like, coming out of corner, even slow corners. Oh, the torque, the torque. The torque. <laughs> it just flies you out, doesn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, goodness yeah. me. I'm not going to forget that one in a hurry. Hell no. Absolutely Sweet. brilliant, man. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm finally out of my race suit and back into normal clothes, but I'm still coming down with an incredible experience. I'm not sure if you can tell by the grin on my face, but that thing impacted me. It was a phenomenal thing. Right now, though, I'm in the incredibly privileged position of being on the grid before the flag drop. So we are now on the start to finish straight. Look at this, all the way back up here. And behind me, if I lift that up enough, you can see that is where the uh, grid starts. So let's just go and have a quick look at what's going on here. And then after that, I'm going to enjoy the race. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.